What's up everybody, I'm Ryan Missler. We are driving to AccuForce testers and dynos to pick up our new spring smasher. We're almost there. We'll be pulling in in a second. Maybe we'll show you around a little bit in there. <laughs> All right, so we're inside AccuForce. We're staying with Brent. Hi, Ryan. Say hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. Yeah. So this is the shock room where they rebuild shocks. And they got a couple dinos up here. All your tools and shims and everything to rebuild stuff. Now what kind of shocks you work on there, Brent? We work on Bilstein's, Boxes, Olin's, and Integra's. And we're starting to dabble a little bit into Penske stuff. Right now we're working on a lot of uh, non-take-apart Bilstein uh, straight stock stuff today. We got about 50 of them to do. <laughs> so you said non-take-apart. Yeah. <laughs> non-take-apart in a street stock, but you take them apart. We actually buy them in kit form, and then we custom valve them, put them together with this fill machine that we have here, and then it looks like they've never been taken apart. So they pass all the rules for no Schrader valves and things like that, but you get such a performance advantage by having it custom valve versus stock valving and things. Just stuff that we've tested over the years and things like that, and uh, um, we sell quite a few of them actually. So you'll sell this machine? We also sell that machine to people um, that want to do it. Really, really popular in the South where they run a lot of the hobby stock stuff and things like that so they, they can work on them. And then uh, I, I do quite a few around here for like the Penn Ohio series and, and some of our super stock classes around here. Or, or we did some crate stuff back a few years ago when they had to run a sealed shock and stuff. Um, cool. For some limited stuff that they're, they're pretty sporty. Good deal. And you sell dinos, of sell course. Dinos. And you sell smashers. Smashers, that's the other aspect of things. So we'll come back here, let's show them a, show them have, a smasher. Yeah. We got our touchscreen smashers that we use every day. And then we're fortunate enough to have another one that we just have a standard one back in the back that we use. Um, we carry a lot of the springs that we need for dirt racing now we don't carry a ton of springs but we carry a little bit of everything that 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 hard to get stuff that people don't want to stock usually we have it um our packing and shipping area that we're getting ready to ship stuff out with we have all of our new stock of boxes um we keep quite a little bit of stuff in here most of that stuff on the shelf here is just blanks that we would have to valve and things You even got a treat today. Yeah, I got a treat. Just what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> no weight loss today. <laughs> oh, I'm boy. Not complaining. Everybody they're knows I like sweets. They're <laughs> diet cookies. Yeah. Yep. And then we got Ryan's new stuff that he's picking up today. Really? Which is good. And we got some of Devin Moran's stuff down here that we worked on this morning that we tuned up for him a little bit. Good deal. So those are shocks that might have been run already uh, this year well, yeah they've already been ran probably on when he won down at volusia or stuff cool pretty good so we've been happy with that stuff cool cool and then then we got a little small machining area oh look we got a missler that works here in our machine <laughs> uh, what do you just, think brother <laughs> you don't know just some small little manual machines when we first started the smashers we did all the milling for the plates and everything right there on that little mill and we did everything ourselves until we got big enough selling them to where we could farm it out and buy them bulk. Say that machine shop stuff looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we try to stay away from there. Let's see what Keith's doing. We'll one, sneak up on him. The one thing that we always do, no matter the machine getting built, Keith always gives the final okay on it and checks the final calibrations. Cool. Signs off on it before it gets the panels put on it. To get sold 
Nice. The owner's touch. Yeah, yeah we try. Every machine. <laughs> cool. That's I don't know if you want me. That's why behind sometimes. No, you're fine. <laughs> I just uh, look at It's pretty close, so we'll tweak on a little bit. Go from there. Good deal. We always laugh. We tell everybody. We, we can show them the shipping, the uh, assembly department. We can show them all in one little video <laughs> or a picture here because we don't have a very big place, but we try to get a lot done here. Good deal. Now, you just got a... I see on social media you got a pull down rig now. Yeah, this is uh, this is the scale part of it, and then the brains of it's over here. Uh, we just left the car just left here from Louisiana, just still in the driveway. Um, we set it up, and the brains to it's here, and we have data data system line, and we hook it up with this and do a pull down at that point. Have have a computer hooked up to all the data. Very nice, cool. There's three more machines waiting for me to calibrate <laughs> since I've had people here all week. But, cool, cool. Yeah. And this one? That's Ryan Missler's. This one's getting ready to go out the door. This one's going out the door. Yeah. Rock and roll. Looks very nice. Let's check out the old shock the room. Old shock room. This was the humble beginnings back here. I remember it. Now we use it as clean storage. Oh, this nice. is where we uh uh, Ooh, look at all those started numbers. with the the shocks <laughs> crazy and then we still build our torsion bar testers for our sprint car guys sprint car and kent big block mods use those on um, big block mods are all going to coils oh so they're all getting smashers right now so that's awesome oh good um but like sheldon Han shield and gravel and all them guys they all have these now which has really helped them um fine-tune their bars and knowing what bars are in there and they're sprint cars. Not a big sprint car guy, but there's a market for it. Heck so. yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Which is a lot of it's based off of our spring smasher and stuff, um, which is which has been nice. Yeah, the the screen and everything yeah. looks very yeah. similar. The software is very similar, and what they can do other than you know we can do the arms and then it's adjustable to do different length arms and things like that, and. Uh, yeah, uh, they're, they're learning. The sprint car guys are just a little slower than the late model guys, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they're getting there. They, they all need a little push they're, start, they're, right? They're getting there. <laughs> uh, the guys that have it that's been utilizing it are definitely finding benefits from it. You know, everybody used to say, well, we'll just put a new bar in. Well, not all new bars are created equal. There sure. are different variations in batches, and same deal. It's all the little details on what's winning races now. So, Same thing with the Smasher, right? Yeah. Put everything on a smasher to make sure it's what you want it to be. You are exactly right. Mm -hmm. Here and we'll pick one. All right. So now we're gonna simulate a little bit of using the smasher and uh, using the spring unloader tool that we're getting. It's not so hard when you're putting it together because you can start from the bottom and you can put it wherever you want. It's when you got one put together already. You got to make sure you allow enough room. Um, to be able to get all the tension off the spring. So you're gonna start higher when you're disassembling, especially when you don't know how much load's on there, per se. So basically what you're gonna do is just gonna put this in upside down. And you're gonna put this into a coil. So I'm just gonna spin that. This is for the three and a half, or two and a half to three inch side. And this is for up to five inch springs. So all you have to do is flip it one way or the other. The little rubber feet on there keep these springs from spinning when you got bearings on there. So they don't unwind themselves when you get load. And basically you just put the stop against the bar, stop against the bar, make sure you're kind of even pressure front to back. Just snug that down and make sure that one's snug. And then you just pull there for us and then you just run it up. The nice part about this one is that the bump stops, shocks, everything will go up through the middle. And you got a lot more universal wherever you grab the spring at that way. So then you just run her up some. Grab your cup. Is that your cup in? And steer it down in there where you want to be. Simple as that. Piece of cake. And then when you're done, if you're doing more than one, you just kind of just spin that out of your way. Or if you're done done with everything, then what we do is we just keep everything up here by the load cell. The thing you gotta watch is make sure you don't whack the wire or have it actually touching the loot. So, cool. and then it stores up out of your way. Very good. 
And you don't have to mess with nothing in the back or anything, just these two, and I mean, you just, you know, just crack them, so. Okay. It's not pretty simple. Like I say, the trick is, if it starts pushing sideways or whatever, then you probably don't have your pressure even. Um, you know, you'll just have to steer it a little more, but, and then you just want to be on the same coil as you're continually going around. So, that's so all to it. Like I say, the trick is to make sure you leave enough gap here when you're disassembling that you can run the machine down. Cool. And then if you need more room, like you're doing left rear stuff, and you need more room, you can just take the little impact gun or whatever and pop this bolt out and flip your load cell upside down. I would recommend running the bolt back up in it so it don't ever dangle on the wires. And then that'll give you another, you know, five five inches up there or whatever to run stuff up through there. You do that quite mm -hmm. a bit? Yeah, we do it a lot with this one. Yeah, because everything's, it's still all calibrated because it's set flat there. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we just leave the thing here. We just run it like that, and then we just flip this up like this. And like I say, you don't have to, but we do so that we don't, it don't ever fall against the wire and ruin the lid. So, and then we just snug it. Then you get that much more room up in there. Okay. And then when you want to use it, you just flip it back up and tighten her back up. Sweet. All right. Tricks That's simple trade. enough. Man. Use them every day. A lot of people claim that they make these, and a lot of them I can guarantee you don't use their product, or they uh, they would be revamping. <laughs> yep. Well, we got everything all loaded up in the van. We're heading out of here. Thanks, Keith and Brent and all the other guys for the tour. Appreciate it. We had to stop and get ice cream. I'm eating Amber's ice cream because she just wants the cone. Then I have to eat mine. <laughs> Why'd you make him be the one in the I was just gonna pull it out. <laughs> it would fall off of that. <laughs> place ready to go fast all right so we're back home got the smasher in here and I wanted to say about the inner circle sign up thanks to everybody that signed up so far uh, we really appreciate your support for everybody that maybe you haven't heard of it yet or ha haven't heard me talk about it yet we're taking signups for the inner circle so you can become part of our team there's three different levels uh, we'll put the link below to the description uh, below this video to the link to my website ryanmister.com so everything's there you can also go back to the last video that I made it's it's titled inner circle details uh, you can go and check that out too so thanks everybody for your support uh, looking forward to chatting with everybody in the exclusive video chat group well guys I hope you enjoyed that video of going to AccuForce and picking up our smasher and shocks um, we try to bring you guys some cool videos like this every once in a while, but uh, crewman Dan's coming over. We got a little bit of work to do. He stopped at Rocket this week and picked up a birdcage part that we need. Tomorrow we'll be putting that motor in, so watch, watch real soon for another video coming your way. So appreciate you being here every week. Thanks everybody. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Go check out our, all our other videos if you're new to the channel. There's a whole bunch of them. I think there's maybe over 150 of them. 
Thanks, everybody. See ya. Hey, Dad, do Say bye.